All right, Virgo, this message is for you today. This is going to be Virgo the star seed. All right, I'm going to ask you to come into this message and give us a clear cut reading for the earthly Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's roll. I still have my $10, 15-minute freestyle reading on. If It's going to last until the end of uh, August. So if you're interested, the information to contact me is below. I wanted to put a link up in the corner of this reading for you. It's $10, 15-minute freestyle reading. All right? Speaking of message for the Earth and Virgo, this is your star seed message. All about you, Virgo. Okay. Activated Earth. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. You're being led to, to, to do something in your life. Trust this move. Trust this situation that you're being led out of and put into somewhere else. The Spirit is taking you out of one place and laying you down somewhere else. Even if it's laying you down in somebody else's bed. All right? Karmic relationships. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. Having conflict with people. If you're having conflict with people, family members, friends, co-workers, or whatever, you're being elevated to another level. Led out of a situation that no longer serves you. Remember, trust where you're being led. Trust where you're being led, Virgo. Yeah, spirit is leaving leave you out of conflict, Virgo. Kind of like a conflict, conflict resolution kind of scenario, all right? Messenger, serious energy, bring harmony and balance. By uh, spirit pulling you out of a situation that no longer serves you, this is going to bring you in complete balance. I put a reading out, I think, last uh, weekend about a tower moment hitting you, but it was necessary to balance out your energy. Here we are. Okay, we're at that, that point in your life where you need to balance some shit out. Uh, it may be a hard pill to swallow, Virgo, but you got to do what's best for you. Okay, you got to. Harmony and balance. This is what spirit is bringing to your life. That harmony and balance that you deserve, that you desire, that you need. Okay? Spirit, give me more messages for the artist, please. You are not for everyone, Virgo. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. I said this to somebody yesterday. I don't know if it was for for a reading for you all or if it was for a personal reading i said i said that yesterday embrace your weirdness those exact words wow you are not for everybody you're different you are set aside to be the person that you are you're different you're i'm hearing the word eclectic okay there's something different about you that probably makes people a little standoffish when it comes to your energy because you're so because you're so different that makes you stand out and it makes people make fun of you you probably were bullied as a child, okay? But that's all, That's okay. You are exactly who you need to be in this lifetime. That's all I need to say, okay? Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Learning, to, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. It's like you are enclosed inside of, of your spiritual realm. In other words, you're protected. No matter what it is you've been through in your life, spirit has always kept you. Spirit has always protected you because you are part of the earth. You get it? Not of it, but you are part of the earth. It's just like, wow. I am a part of the sea, the moon, the stars, gravity. It's like you're being held in place like here. Spirit is not letting anything in or around or through you because you're covered. By the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, Virgo. This is your star seed message, Virgo. Your inner earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and new beginnings. Whatever spirit is taking you away from, he wants you to know I'm taking you to the land of milk and honey. The land of milk and honey on earth. Okay, there are certain things that I'm taking you away from. Certain things I'm drawing away from you to bring the good in your life. The goodness in your life. Cracked open. Rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. You've hit rock bottom. This is what I was talking about with the tower moment. I think last week or whenever I did that reading for you. I'm going to put it in this comment, in this description section in case you missed that reading. Go back and check it. With says, I don't remember the title of it, but it says something with you hitting rock bottom or hitting that tower moment that's going to even or level your life out, okay? You're being cracked wide open. And spirit wants you to surrender because there's something new. There's something new for you to experience in your life. 
got to let the new in. It's like you're unzipping the old you. It's kind of like, this is what I'm hearing, or this is what I'm seeing. When a, a snake or when a spider grows too big for their, their like a, a spider, the exoskeleton, it becomes too small for them and they outgrow it and it cracks open and something new comes out, a new spider. Well, a, you know, they're renewing themselves. The same thing as a snake. When he slitters for his skin, the old skin comes off and the new, the new snake the new, you know what I'm saying, the, the new generated snake and spider, everything is okay with them. All of the damage that's been caused to them, they, they in, ended up growing out, growing through that, and that's the new them. That's what spirit wants you to do, to release that old exoskeleton with all the scars, with all the bruises, with all of the heartache, with all the pain, with all the, ne the negativity, and birth and bring upon a new birth, a new way of looking at things. Opening up, splitting those atoms, that something that no longer serves you into something that does serve you so, so you can be happy. Okay? Whew. I hope that made sense, y'all, because I hear it in my head and it's like spinning, spinning, spinning. <laughs> this is Message Oracle. What are your messages from Spirit, Virgo? What are your messages from Spirit? It's time for you to reflect. It's time for you to reflect on all the things that you've been through. On, what, on all the, th the things that you have desired in your life and in your soul. Spirit wants you to start fresh. This kind of reminds me of that part in Lion King when Silva was looking in the water. He was missing his father, Mufasa. And when he looked inside that, that water, he saw his reflection, but he saw his father's reflection in him. He knew that he was a part of his father. I don't know why I'm needing to say this. So you are a part of a higher being, of a higher self, of, of so many people who have passed on for you, Virgo. Not for you, but the people who are on the other side want you to know we are already inside of you. Everything is going to be okay. You are a part of me. I'm a part of you. What you see is me. What I see is you. I'm already within you. Yeah, let go of the old. I'm telling you. There's something that you need to let go of. And you're not going to... This message is not going to be over with. You're not going to keep... This message I'm hearing is going to repeat itself until you let go of what you're supposed to let go of. You're going to keep on hearing it from me and a lot of different other people as well. It's time for you to reflect. It's time for you to look at what no longer serves you and let it go. Now, are you ready for that? Is that too much of a challenge for you to handle, Virgo? Is it? Hey, right now. Messengers for Spirit. Love that you are different. Hold on, let me find that card. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. I'm hearing a song. I don't know where in the hell this damn song is coming from, but I'm hearing it. <clears throat> Hold on, why is this at? Okay. So love that you are different. Okay. And this card is saying you are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. See? That's clarification for you. You're different. You're so different from your counterparts. You're so different from your best friends. I'm different from my best friend. I love her to death. I don't like being late, but she doesn't have the concept of time. I love jazz music. When she sits there with me at a jazz club, it's like watching paint dry. Embrace your differences. That's that's what makes you who you are. Okay? Embrace you. Um, embrace who you truly are. That is a gift by itself that you are so different from everybody else. That you are unique. Embrace that shit. Okay? Okay, we're going to what's going on here. <clears throat> what are your messages from spirit? Right got two. A new day dawns, okay? And know your power. When you let go of that, oh, you're going to automatically know your power because it's there. It's like, like a Dodge Ram truck. All of that horsepower pushing your way. Spirit wants you to know you are more than a ram. You're more than a conqueror. You are stronger than a, the strongest Mustang. 
I know that's kind of cliche, y'all. I know that's silly, but I, I'm hearing messages in my head, and I don't even know how to communicate it with you all, but because it's so fast, it's like lights. <sighs> be patient. Some of you all need to be more patient. Is that a Virgo thing? Because I have a patient. I have an issue with being patient. We want gratification, instant gratification, but it's not always going to be that way. We got to be patient, and we got to be patient with others. You know. I can remember that my best friend has no concept of time. My daughter has no concept of time. It ticks me off. I don't get it. I don't understand it. How can you be late? I always tell people, if I'm late, there's something wrong. We've got to be a little bit more patient with other people and with ourselves, okay? Including me. I have a thing about time. I need to be on time. If my job tells me I have to be there at 8.30, I'm there at 8 o'clock. But that's just me. My friend have to be to work at 6 o'clock at night. She gets there at 5.55. I'm like, Angie, that's late. No, it's not. Yeah, it is to me. But, hey, that's being patient. All right? All right, y'all. <clears throat> Trust in your magic, Virgo. Trust in your magic. And share your thoughts. What is it that you're holding in? Those dark places of your heart and soul, what are, you, what are you holding on to? Not saying to tell your secrets, but to talk about whatever it is that, that, that you can't talk about with just anybody. Find a confidant. You know, find someone who you can really sit down and talk to and, and that person is going to keep whatever you say between the two of you. Okay? They're not going to share those with anybody else. Stay strong. No matter what you're going through, Spirit wants you to stay strong, stay the course. Because Spirit is saying, I'm getting ready to shift you, Virgo. It may be uncomfortable. You may not like it. But I'm going to push you for. I'm going to make you do what the hell you're supposed to do. I'm going to make you leave that bastard alone. I'm going to make you leave that toxic job alone. I'm going to make you move out of, out of that fucked up neighborhood or that house that your landlord is not taking care of for you or your kids. Okay? I'm going to make you. Stop eating haagen strawberry ice cream. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make you stop eating meat. <clears throat> All right. Give me one more card. Let's see what I want to use. I will use one more of these. One more card, please, from the Star Seed Oracle deck. The regular, what's your final message? Big picture thinking. Palisades, energy, visionary, inspired ideas. This is a new opportunity, a new opening. Um, remember what I just said about in my mind, I'm seeing a bunch of lights blinking and flickering or whatever, spinning, spinning, spinning. You're going to get thoughts. You're going to get ideas. You're going to get epiphanies. A lot of different things are going to come to you. This is a new cycle of your life. Spirit wants you to stand up, pay attention, and take notes because you're getting ready to be catapulted into another level, whether you like it or not. 